So hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna go ahead and navigate. You can see on my phone, this is the Comic Connect website, and all you have to do is enter your destination, and it'll show up on the Comma 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to FedEx here. And then on the screen, I'm not sure you can see it, but you just hit navigate, and shortly it'll pop up. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I will modulate the accelerator often just because uh, experimental mode tends to drive a little slow. Um, and you will also see me assist the steering wheel every so often just because sometimes it just feels like there isn't enough torque to complete the turn. So I'll give it a little help here and there and you'll just kind of see it in the video. Um, if the border on the screen ever turns gray, that means I'm overriding something, whether that's the accelerator or the steering. Yeah, it's pretty, doing a pretty good job here, just residential, so it's fairly easy, 25 miles an hour. Experimental mode has always been pretty good at that. We're coming up on our left turn here. Let's see if we can do that. Let's just slow down. Okay. So, not quite good on that left turn. Not bad. At least a new. Turn right. I'll wait for the stop sign pretty good. Okay. It likes to overshoot the stop sign a lot, I've noticed. Or the stop line. Uh, I'm gonna need to help it here just because a lot of traffic. But yeah, you can see experimental mode. Um, there's there are two primary issues with that. It's uh, it tends to overshoot stop lines, whether you're at a red light or stop sign, and it tends to drive too slow. So those are the main issues with experimental mode, otherwise it's pretty good. Here I would like to be a little bit more to the left of the lane, but it's fine. Stopping. Accelerating. Very slow. But we're doing it. So the speed limit here is 35 miles an hour. Um, the problem with experimental mode is sometimes it thinks that this road is 25 miles an hour just because it's, you know, residential and so it tends to drive a little too slow. There are no cars behind me right now, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing. But if there is uh, anybody tailgating me, I'm just gonna hit the uh, accelerator. But you know, 30 miles an hour, that's pretty good. It's slower than 35, but it's better than 25. Moving over for the Amazon truck. So the route's actually pretty easy, it's just, oh, I don't know what it's doing here. This used to be an issue, if you've seen any of my older videos, I kind of explained this. Um, but it likes to ride on the right side of this road sometimes, for whatever reason, and I'm not too sure why. Okay. I remember this branch is experimental, so, of course, it's not going to work well. So acceleration here, pretty slow, but it's fine. There's a car tailgating me, so I may hit the gas pedal soon. And you can see 35 miles an hour on this road as well. It's currently going about 30, so it's pretty decent. It used to go a lot slower, it used to drive like 25, 20 to 25, so this is actually pretty good. Coming up on a stop sign here. You may or may not see this, a lot of times it does miss this stop sign. Seems to see it. Will it break in time? It will. Okay. So that was a bit of a rolling stop, but honestly, I would have done the same. Whenever Open Pilot does its full stops, it's kind of slow. I've noticed uh, it'll like come to a stop very slow and then wait like a couple seconds and then accelerate. It's not very natural. We are going a little slow here, about 20 miles an hour. Five. Right turn, so let's see. I'm gonna choose the right lane. Cool, 
So far, so good. So the right turn lane up ahead is actually a pretty hard turn to make for anybody in general just because it's, it's a pretty big blind spot and the curb is, it protrudes out quite a bit. So I'm pretty certain that Open Pilot won't be able to make the turn, so I'll have to kind of help it out or it'll probably just make the, chain, lane, uh, the right turn into the wrong lane, which is fine because most people do that too. Okay, so we're accelerating here. A little slow. Again, it's fine. Oh, okay, it's pretty good. So there's no red on red, so hopefully we make it. Oh, we are not gonna make it. I'm just gonna stop just because this car needs to make its left turn and I don't wanna indeed. Okay, so we are up next. So again, I really don't think it's going to be able to make this right turn, so I'm probably either going to have to disengage or help it out. I'm going to probably accelerate off the line, just because I know it's going to be slow and the people behind me are probably angry. Yeah, the curb protrudes quite a bit out. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Yeah, most people usually turn into this lane anyway, so it's not awful. But I did have to help it out there, just because the curb was a little hard to see. So the speed limit on this road is 30 miles an hour. I should pull up the map here so you guys can actually see the speed limit. So 30 miles an hour here. It's also on the common device. There is somebody tailgating me, which is fine. We are heading into the left turn lane a little early. There's a curb there. But we are here. Nice and smooth. And yeah, unprotected left. Sometimes, you know, open pilot is actually surprisingly decent at unprotected left turns. Again, not always. In this situation, I would say it probably won't be able to do a very good job at it. Um, but I've had instances where it'll actually wait for, it'll yield to the oncoming traffic before making the left turn lane. And I would probably not go. Let's see if it'll wait. Yeah, I'm gonna accelerate and make the turn just cause the oh, pilot's a little too slow. It's a little hesitant, which is fine. We are here at my destination. Just let me the turn. I'm gonna accelerate. Cool, not bad. And the I'm just navigating to FedEx here, so it's just going straight, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, that was pretty good. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and set a new destination so we'll just go ahead and start navigating we'll just have to exit this spot first all right now we're not exactly headed the right direction where it wants me to go so it may not start working until we're out of this parking lot So we're pretty much just going the opposite direction of how we came here. Obviously we're going to need to make a left soon, so I'm going to do a lane change. The one thing that Navigate on Pilot can't do yet is uh, lane changes. It will go into like the left turn lane or the right turn lane, but it won't, let's say you like here, you're going to switch lanes to make the left here, which is fine. So here's our left turn lane, it's going to hit the curb if we let it go too early. Okay. And we probably could have made that, but Oak Pilot wasn't really going, so just disengage there. Oh, so we get a protected left, it's going to make the left turn. Hey, that was pretty good. Look at that. Cool. So again, it's a little slow here, but it's fine. This merge is a little difficult sometimes. Handle that amazingly. 
would like to be going a little faster, but it's fine. Again, speed limit here is 35. We're going about 28, 30. This stop sign and misses all the time, so unless there's a car, but it's usually kind of blocked, so. Stop. Nice, smooth rolling stop. Pick the right lane. Yes, we are. Open Pilot's pretty notorious for choosing the right turn lane when I'm not using Navigate on Open Pilot, which is pretty funny. Uh, every time I go down this road, it always wants to make a right turn, even though I just want to go straight. So acceleration, again, off the line. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. In this instance, it was kind of both. Um, you can see the lead cars ahead of me are way gone already but the acceleration actually felt pretty good. What usually happens is it, it tapers off around 20 miles an hour, and you can see we're already going only 27 miles an hour here, and the speed limit here is 35. So, not great. But again, there's no car behind me, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing. If you've seen my very first uh, navigate on open pilot video. I took the same road here, and in that video, it really liked to hug the curb here. And you can see open pilot has improved. It doesn't do that anymore, which is amazing because that was really, really annoying. It would hug the curb, and it would sometimes want to, you know, hit the trash cans, and then it would go around the cars, and it would just be this awkward movement. But yeah, open pilot doesn't do that anymore, which is really good. Very impressed. So sometimes it misses the stop sign here, but will we today? We will not. Oh, we're actually making a left turn. Kind of overshot the left the lane there, but hey, look at that! Pretty darn good. Very good. Very impressive. Didn't even realize we were making a left turn there, but that was very good. We did overshoot the stop line a little bit, but it's fine. I should start activating the camera so you guys can actually see, but... Okay, we are making a right turn here, so let's see if it can do this right turn. I would prefer if it slowed down a little more. Okay, yeah, it's not going to make that one. You know, not terrible. And then we have one more turn, just a left turn up ahead. There it is. Navigation was taking a little bit to update, but I think it's just kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes uh, right turns work better, sometimes left turn works better. It just differs um, depending on the situation. Sometimes the pilot drives a little too fast to make the turn, as you can see back there. Too fast. Wasn't going to make it. And there just isn't enough torque. Close to be torque. Okay, left turn. Will it make it? Uh, I will have to help it. Okay, pretty good, not bad. And it's just gonna stop ahead just because our de destination is up ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and set a new destination. It's probably gonna stop, I think. Is it gonna stop? It's not gonna stop, okay, well that's new. I'm gonna pull over just so I can set a new destination. All right, so new destination set. This one is just a little bit out of this residential area to a grocery store. Just gonna go ahead and activate it here. Got about 10 miles an hour. Right turn here, we have a little dip here. Don't know if we'll see it, but we're going slow enough where it doesn't matter. Like I'm speeding. Okay, a little too close to the curb there, but otherwise, pretty decent right turn. Not amazing. Okay, so this route is actually pretty simple. It's just gonna be a right turn and probably a left turn and we'll be at our destination, so. Yeah, again, this road specifically is 35 miles an hour as well. You can see it on the navigation and open pilot is going about 27. Now, I guess, you know, if you weren't from this area, you wouldn't, or, you know, you didn't see these speed limit signs, 
you probably would think that this street would be 25 miles an hour as well, so again, it's pretty normal, I guess. It's just weird that these streets are 35. But we're shooting the line again. Rolling stop. Yeah, those are the two main things that Open Pilot Experimental Mode needs to improve upon. It's just one, it drives a little too slow sometimes, and two, it overshoots uh, stop signs and red lights a little too often. So up at this right light, we're going to make a right turn. It's getting a little close to those cars, and I would like... It's going to shoot, overshoot this, so I'm going to slow down. It's not comfortable there. So there's a car coming. So I'm not going to let it go. Could probably go right there, but I know Papa probably can't see this. Because it's, you know, it's pretty hard for me to see already, so... I'm not surprised. But it won't be what happens. Okay. Can we turn? Yes, we can. Kind of. Wrong lane, but it works. Oh. Okay, the speed limit here is 40. The guy behind me is tailgating me, so I'm just going to go ahead and accelerate here. Kind of push on the brake pedal there a little. Okay, hold on. It's a flashing yellow, so that means we can make a left turn. I don't think Open Pilot knows. Oh, it's moving up. Okay, so maybe it does. I don't know. Um, I don't really think I would trust Open Pilot to make these left turn lanes. Left turns on the blinking yellow, just because I can barely see the car ahead. So oh, I'm just gonna go and accelerate here, see if it'll do it. Cool. Pretty good. And we are at the destination, so I'm just going to go ahead and take over. Alright, so I have a new destination set. Ideally, I would have liked a little more complex route with more turns, but it's a little difficult where I live, just because everything is pretty straightforward to get to. So, maybe I'll figure that out with future planning, but yeah, there's no waypoints or anything like that, so I can't really set that up. Okay, so I take it back, it's not going to be blinking yellow. Oh, it is. Okay, so we can go. Okay, open pilot is going. It's not turning enough. So yeah, a lot of the same uh, issues. Just low speed torque with turning, and uh, I'm a little slow, and overshooting the lines. So that was pretty good. I did have to accelerate there. Again, speed limit here is 40 miles an hour, but we're going 25, so. I'm just going to go ahead and accelerate because there are a lot of cars behind me. Green light. Acceleration is probably going to be a little slow here. Okay, not bad. Again, it tapers off at around 20 miles an hour, which is a little slow, so I'm just going to go ahead and accelerate. Oh, it was supposed to make a... You know what? That's my fault. It was supposed to make a left turn there. I thought it would want it to go straight. That's my fault. I do. It's going to reroute itself, hopefully. Um, yeah, that was my mistake. I thought we were going straight. I thought we were supposed to make a left. Nice curve there. Okay, yeah, so it rerouted us. We're just going to make a left turn on a different street this time. My apologies. I don't mean to mess that up. So we're maintaining 40 miles an hour here, which is good. Speed limit. I did have to accelerate to it, but at least we're holding it. The street that it wants to make a left turn on is a little difficult, I think. It's just a little tight, so it probably won't have enough wheel torque to make the turn, so I'll probably have to help it out. And again, see how small the uh, left turn lanes here are, so 
I don't think it will be able to make it over on time. Coming up here. Gonna hit my current signal. Should slow down already. Okay. It's not moving over. Okay. It's over. Is it gonna turn? No, it's not. Okay, yeah. So basically what I predicted, it's just going too fast. 40 miles an hour, you know, that's the speed limit, but for our pilot, it's a little too fast to get over on that left turn lane and make the turn, so. I'm just gonna make a right turn here at the, light, at the stop sign, excuse me. On the turn signal. Stopped for this really well. No cars, so we can go. So, Opal Pilot does this a lot, it turns the wheel a little too much sometimes, like, in this instance, not bad. You know, that was totally appropriate. Um, where are we gonna make the left turn? The next one. There's a person tailgating me now. Too bad. There we go. Okay, turn. Okay. Gonna help it out there. And they're staring at me. <laughs> Oh wow. Here we go. And then the last turn here is it's gonna make a right turn. And that will be the end of the video. So. I, should, I don't even have to turn on the turn signal. I should just. Oh wow, and then it's not even going. Okay. Well. <laughs> end it off on that, I guess. You know what? We should end it off on a good note. I'll just. Uh, I'll set one more destination and see how we do on that. Okay, so I have a new destination set. This will be the last one for this drive. So I'm just going to engage it now. Residential, so the speed limit here is 25 miles an hour. Doing pretty good. It's a bicyclist. It should slow down for it. It didn't really, uh, so that wasn't very, wasn't ideal, but didn't hit on my lease. <laughs> Stop sign. So this is a pretty major road here, so it will probably be difficult for a pilot to make the right turn, so I will have to probably disengage. Yeah, so it's already pretty difficult for me to see. Okay, nope, cannot go yet. Wow, a lot of cars. Now personally, I probably could have went some time. Oh. Yeah, no, we are not making that turn. Not great, but you know, it is what it is. We're making this turn at this light up ahead. No cars, so it can go. It will, it should, it's not, so I'm gonna accelerate. Yeah, sometimes right turns is just awkward, sometimes it's good. That one was, was, again, kind of in between. It was good, but it was a little awkward. Uh, just because we were yeah, a little too far out to the left. And I noticed when Opopilot wants to make turns, it'll kind of turn the wheel the opposite direction for a little bit. I guess it's trying to get uh, more room to make the turn, so it's a little bit of a wider turn. But it's very unnatural. Sometimes, you know, there are cars on the left side of my car and it feels like it's gonna hit that or something so not a great not a great feeling but otherwise sometimes it's okay so up ahead at this stop sign it's a little bit hidden so we're gonna have to make it right there I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it hopefully it will we're slowing down which is good it's gonna choose the right lane yes it will Kind of. You see what it's doing? You see it makes the... Oh, you can go! So yeah, again, that was kind of in the middle. It was okay, but it was kind of awkward. I don't know. Speed limit here is 35. We're going 26. I'm just gonna accelerate because I do see some cars. turn is up at this stop sign, we're going to make a left turn. Now it should go in this left turn lane by itself, so we'll just turn on the turn signal, let's see if it does. If not, I'll just move over. It does not, so I'm going to move over. Stopped for that, very great, very well. Oops, turning a little too early. 
It's fine. Okay, now you can turn. Okay. Yeah, same with left turns. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's awkward. But not bad. So, I think we're coming up on our destination set here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it at that. Uh, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate again, everybody, for supporting the content that I do. And again, if you have any suggestions on videos that I should make, please leave them in the comments down below. I do read every single one of them. And I do want to start making a lot more content, you know, with Opilot and with other stuff as well. So if you, again, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It'll help me a whole ton. Hopefully we can get to 300 subs sometime soon. Look at that stop sign. Beautiful. Beautiful. But yeah, thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.